hello. Me. What's going on? Good, very good. Uh, yeah. Hello, Yomi. Um, do you want to do you want to introduce yourself? Um, my name is Yomi Shode. I am a writer, poet, um, playwright, um, artist, and at some point soon, not soon, maybe again, maybe dabble into music or something like that. I miss it though. Yeah. Nice. Um, so, Yomi, we're gonna. I've got. I've got a few questions for you. Um, then you can do us a little writing task. Um, these questions are all kind of around the same theme, and this is something that I know you've done a little bit of. Um, so this is, these are questions about sort of commissioning and being commissioned to write certain things. So right. my first question is quite simply, tell us about how you would approach a commission. Oh, well, um, I would, I would, I'll get to know a bit more about the organisation. Um, if it's an organisation that is relatively new to me, I would definitely speak to the representatives a bit more and just find out a bit about their ethos and where they stand with things. If it's an organisation that I know of already, then it's getting to know, again, just, just what don't I know, you know? And then we move into the project itself. Um, I would like to know a bit more about the project. I'll do any research possible in regards to the project or the idea or what's being proposed. If there are people behind the project itself, like illustrators or designers, or maybe other writers or people that I need to talk to in regards to, 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 to the writing, not necessarily representatives of the organization, but if the idea is about museums, then I wanna know about who is it in the museum that works there. Um, that looks at these specific things. I would love to talk to those folks. And once I've collated all of that, um, I sit down and I have a bit of a think. Um, I look into the piece a bit more. <laughs> I stress out a bit more in regards to like how now to, 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 to gather all of this and tell some form of a story. Um, and it's, it doesn't take me that long, to be fair, um, to write some form of a draft. But in between the writing, I'm still talking to the people that I need to speak to in regards to the piece. I'm still very much in conversation in regards to the actual the proposal or the commission itself. I think that is one thing that's consistently going is that is that form of conversation. It doesn't just stop at, oh, I've, known, I've got the brief. See you later. I see you in like, what, two weeks time or something like that. I would like to know personally that if there's an option for me to still talk to X, Y, and Z in between, then I would love for that to still happen, to still carry on. Yeah, I think that's really interesting, the thing about the, the conversation. So mm. for example, the, the one that you just did at the South Bank with the orchestra, mm. is, is, is a collaboration between you, between the stimulus and between the music. Right. So sort of how much of your process depends on on that, on those collaborations, on, on that discussion? The music was, the music, if anything, was the... In that, in that initial process, the music was the last part because I'm not working. I wasn't working with James, for example, to be like, okay, cool, I'm going to write this stanza and then I want to see what key you want to play mm. on the piano that's going to match that or think of the violinist that's going to, kind of played to this part so it was very much a separate it was it was a separate operation in that sense where in writing this the conversations with James was it was just talking to him and just going through the the this this specific incident look looking at the news articles looking at a lot of the pictures looking on YouTube and looking on Twitter and reading how people are feeling generally reading some of my own tweets in regards to the issue and going back to it so a lot of that kind of finding was not with James it was actually because at some points James will text me a news article and then we'll just have a conversation on about it via text or email or on the phone and then boom I just move on and I'll carry on it wasn't until that piece was done and um, sent it to him he then needed to sit with that create the music and then we're back again talking and then that process goes so it's almost it, it leaves me goes to James, James reads it, plays and composes the music, talks to me about it, goes back to it potentially, and then we both meet. And then that's another process. Now we have to prep for it to go to the orchestra and then the orchestra take it. And now we have to think about, or I have to think about how do I now, how does this merge? How does this, how do these words now mesh with 
all of these instruments playing and how does the orchestra work with me to kind of bring this these words out so it's a very layered process i feel and then how is that different to say for example uh, the video that you just did i know caleb worked on that video with you as well yeah yeah so how, uh, how, how is that is that a very similar process or do you think that was well that in the directorial in the directorial kind of setting elliot was um the delivery is different so normally if i'm like because we've done different recordings of the poem and we eventually we got to a point where we're like, no, nah, this is a, this is a calm delivery. It's not something that's very angry. It's something that's like, it's a calmer delivery. So the process of conversation still works, but it's in a different setting. So my talks with Caleb was Caleb was like, I'm like saying to Caleb, this is, I haven't been in this situation for a time. Caleb is like, yeah, this, because it was within lockdown and it was only like 11 of us at a very socially distanced kind of setting to do this film. And he was like, yeah, normally this, this, this is small compared to some of the sets that he's been in, which is like, and you know, in your own experience and in terms of set, or have you seen like numbers of people on one set trying to film something? So I'm still learning. So from him, he's in a very experienced position as a filmmaker. Elliot, as an actor and also director, um, Catherine, Catherine Derry as the DOP, Natalie Fial as the producer, everybody, they're, they're functioning in very different ways. And the actors themselves, they learning the words, they, are, they have they serve their purpose as well in regards to the piece. So my entry there was just like a newbie in all of this, just like taking in as much conversation as possible and learning from them. But everything's still revolving around the key thing because it's my poem. I still need to be front facing mm. in regards to the to the project. So it is very different, but I th I still think that thing of conversating, no, having a conversation, knowing where you're going with it, still stands very strong. Nice. And um, just going back to the the commissioning thing again. Um, now I know that there's a lot of poets who who don't necessarily enjoy being. As, as they might say, uh, being told what to write or actually having people look at their writing and saying, oh, can we change this? Can we move that? Um, mm. But I know that that's part of that process. Um, do you ever feel like you're, you're selling out by working on a commissioned piece? Uh, no, nah. if you don't want to do it, don't do it. <laughs> no one's forcing your hand. Do you know what I mean? No one's forcing your hand to do something. Do you know? You can't just be like, oh, I done it because I don't feel like I had a choice. No, you had a choice. You, or you're hundred percent had a choice. And if I'm even to use the South Bank conference as an example, it was tense. It was very, 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 very tense. Even upon reading it, I've had men. I've had various. Um, I've been approached various times in regards to commissions, but I think this one was the most interesting one so far because there was so much, it was so late, there was so much to go with it. And I think before I even agreed to it, I needed to have a very deep conversation with the folks at South Bank, for example. I needed to talk to them and I really needed to find out why, why this, why this image, why is this important? Um, who was in the room when you made a decision? Can we really talk about the purpose in which what this commission is trying to do and who it best serves and how it goes forward? I needed to have a conversation with with Patrick Hutchinson himself because I'm writing this entire poem, which is in regards to you, and I would want you to hear it before it goes to the world. Whether you like it or not, I still want you to hear it. Just quickly, for anyone that, that's watching this that hasn't isn't aware of that piece, it was you responding to the photograph of Patrick Hutchinson carrying out the, the the what was it what was the the edl member because yeah, it's, yeah. it's just pretty much the edl member yeah. uh, i know i know i know i know i i need i'll say it for you owen do you know what i mean I, i'm I, here I'm for you i'm here for you i didn't want to create I'll, I'll say, the for, of the thing. I, listen you're in a respected position in your job i don't want to compromise that hey, look, look, if he's an edl yeah. member he's an edl he's member i was going to use a different word i was going to just call him a straight up racist but that's <laughs> Do you know what it is? Then the media will kind of tag it as the counter protester. They will say, uh, I, will, I will call it what it is. And I'll be like, that's the kind of slow, that's how they've kind of timed it. And you know, to a certain degree, when, when, when in the process of writing that, and if we get back to the point that you raised and the question you raised, in the whole thing of being a sellout, I know why I wanted to write this piece. And I know that I sat with not only members of the South Bank, but I sat with some really close people to me and I've spoke to them about it. And I spoke to them and, 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 
just really sat with them and just wanted to hear their thoughts in regards to it. You know, I didn't want to feel like I'm jumping into something abruptly. I just really wanted to get a gauge of thoughts. And once that was done, I was in a better place to write, to write this piece. Yep. The fee is the fee, but in a certain degree, this, this doesn't necessarily lie in just money. There's a greater, there's a greater context in regards to this. And when the video came out, I was like, yeah, that's why it's done. And that's how it's resonated and that's what it's doing. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And um, yeah, Remnants is a very, very important piece to me. And, and, and to, to a certain degree, when I read it out to Patrick before it went out, yep, he talked to it and we sat for a long time to talk about the piece and talk in a, in a grander context in regards to his own mission and what he's doing as well going forward. And I wasn't even expecting him to like or no, like, not like it. I just wanted him to just hear it respectfully, you know? Um, if you feel like you're selling out, don't do it. Nothing, no one's holding a, a, a weapon to your head and forcing your hand to do so. If you do so because you want monetary gain, be comfortable in that decision. It's totally up to you. But really, really know why you're doing what you're doing. And I know that the majority of people that I know that I've taken on commissions, they do it because it's something that is heartfelt to them and something that they really, really want to do to change in the landscape and perspectives of, of how things are at present. You know? And also to sort of paraphrase Polar Bear, uh, if we were in this for the money, we'd be rich by now. So fully. There's never what poetry's been about for anything. Hundred percent. I got my blanket out here, be like I'm not living warm. Like life <laughs> life is still a bit of a struggle out in these streets. So yeah, yeah. All right, fully. final final thing, final thing. Could you uh, could you set as a writing task, please? Writing task. Oh awesome. So I would love, 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 love for the writers to whether it's a newspaper and you go into the agony section whether it's on your social media, uh, whether it's the news, if something, if you see like a situation, if there's a situation that needs expanding. So if someone asks a question on, on any social media platform, I would love for you to write that in the three forms that we spoke about, whether it's lyric, whether it's narrative, whether it's dramatic, I would love for you to explore that so in the agony section of the newspaper if you see a situation cropped up i would love for you to either be the character i would love for you to either kind of take the place or right right from that agony situation in the eye or i would love for you to explore it without using the eye but explore exploring it in a very kind of experimental lyric kind of concept and see what comes up with it pick any scenario totally up to you open up the paper see or news or, or magazine read a blog the first thing first question first line you see turn that into something and let me know how you get on nice amazing awesome. uh, that's us yummy thank you so much uh see you very soon take care